In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for SrCl2 plus Na2CO3. This is strontium chloride, and we have sodium carbonate here. So the first thing that we need to do when we write net ionic equations is to balance the molecular equation. This here is the molecular equation. So we'll put a 2 in front of the NaCl, and that should be balanced. So that's our molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So chlorides are very soluble. So they'll dissolve in water. We're going to write AQ after that. Sodium compounds as well, very soluble. Should dissolve in water, split apart into its ions. Sodium chloride, you have sodium in a chloride, certainly is going to be aqueous. For the strontium carbonate here, carbonates are not soluble unless they're bonded to a group one element. So this is going to be a solid. It's not going to dissolve in water. So these two react and we have a precipitate fall to the bottom of the test tube. That's our solid. That's our strontium carbonate. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So this is going to be the complete ionic equation. Sometimes it's called the total ionic equation. So let's do that. Strontium is in group 2 on the periodic table, so it has a 2 plus ionic charge. Chlorine, that's going to be a 1 minus ionic charge. So we have Sr2 plus and I won't write aqueous each time, I'll do that at the end. Plus, we have that chloride ion, Cl minus. And the subscript tells us we have two of them. Then we have sodium, that's in group one, has a plus charge, one plus. Carbonate is always two minus, that's one you should remember. So I have Na plus, the sodium ion, and subscript again tells me I have two of them. And then just the one carbonate ion, CO3, two minus. Those are our reactants. For the products, we said sodium positive, chlorine will have negative charge. So we have two sodium ions, and then that two, it applies to the whole compound. So we have two chloride ions. And then over here, we said with our strontium carbonate, this is a solid. It's a precipitate that has fallen to the bottom of the test tube. So it's not split apart in the test tube, and we're not going to split it apart in our net ionic equation either. We're just going to write SrCO3, strontium carbonate, which is a solid. So we have our complete ionic equation now. Once we've done that, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the equation. So we'll have them in the reactants and the products. Essentially, they haven't changed. So if you look at, say, 2Cl minus, I have it here in the reactants and here in the products. It just hasn't changed. So we're not interested in that. We're going to cross that out. That's a spectator ion. Two sodium ions, two sodium ions. We can cross those out. But everything else, that's unique. So we have our net ionic equation. We have our strontium ion plus our carbonate ion, and we get this solid strontium carbonate. Let me clean this up. We'll come back and we'll add the states in and have a nice tidy net ionic equation for SrCl2 plus Na2CO3. And this is the net ionic equation for strontium chloride plus sodium carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.